this is a question I want you to talk to these young ladies, the young girls yes. who have aspiration to play college basketball. Mm -hmm. What goes into that process, right? What What is it that you have to have that's going to separate you, right, from the most? Because there's so many players that want to get those opportunities. Yeah. And it's only so many universities. Well, you just got to be dedicated. Um, obviously, we all don't have a certain plan of, you know, nothing ever works out all the time as how we want it to. But I feel like if you just stay true to yourself, you pray about it, you have a plan, and you just stay focused on what you want, I feel like that can go a long way because it's easy to get caught up in, you know, different things and caught up in things that don't really help you for your future. So I feel like if you have a goal, you got to stick to it and, you know, just be humble and just do your work. See, that you, you just said a mouthful. Stay focused, right? Because yeah. what happens a lot of times, well, peer pressure, mm -hmm. right? Your friends, like when they go left, you go right. And players that tends to make it to that level uh, understand that, and I think that, yeah. that that is huge, right? Yeah, I think another aspect is having self-confidence. I mean, a lot of times, young people, including myself when I was uh, younger, um, I used to compare myself a lot to other people, like, oh, like, why does she get this? Why don't I get this? I work just as hard, but I feel like you just have to, you know, be comfortable in your own race. Um, you can't try to, you know, compare yourself to somebody else because you're unique in your own way. So I think that that's something that's very important.